It's Mark Weens. I am in Lampang, Thailand, and I am at a legendary noodle restaurant uh, right in the heart of the city and actually right below a temple uh, called Kuit Tiao Puyong. This place is basically well known for their Kuit Tiao Luk Xian Nua. Uh, which are uh, beef balls, beef meatballs, and uh, served in noodles, noodle soup. But this is a really classic restaurant, uh, kind of housed in kind of a makeshift wooden uh, shelter slash house. Uh, but this is definitely a hangout spot. Many men chowing down on beef, beef uh, meatballs and noodles. Everything is old school here and just look at these awesome metal tables. They're like cover covered in like sheets of aluminum that has been well used. So actually I'm not a huge Luxian eater which are the the meatballs, Thai meatballs, uh, often because they're sort of like hot doggy, uh, but they are a, an extremely popular snack in Thailand um, and also popular in noodles. But I think I might like these better because they they say they are 100% beef, whereas on the streets when you order luk chin, they are often uh, kind of toned down with flour, so they're sort of like. Yeah, they're sort of like flour meat combination balls, whereas these are 100% beef. So I have some high hopes for this. Okay, so I ordered just the classic bowl of Kuit Tiao Luk Xin Nua uh, with Sen Lek, which are the medium-sized rice noodles. And these are the legendary beef meatballs. So I'll just taste the soup before I season. Mmm. Mmm. It's just a... Uh, Kind of a light, plain beef flavored broth. It's salty already, but it definitely needs some uh, some chili and some vinegar. Chili, chili flakes. That should be good. Okay, and now this looks like some chili, chili vinegar. Well, that, that's almost like hot sauce. And that's just uh, regular, regular vinegar. I can't wait to try one of these beef meatballs, so I'm going to try that first. Mm. Mm. That is actually very good. Mm, that might be the best luk chin I've ever had. That is like kind of spongy, but you can really taste the the beef in it. That is pretty good, I have to admit. Mm. Yeah, those are just soft, plain rice noodles. Uh, good with vinegar and chili, and yeah, and I can taste a little bit of the cilantro, and also, yeah, mostly cilantro and some green onions and cabbage in there as well. And I like to take a bite of noodles and then chase it or follow by some soup. Oh, that is sour and spicy mm, and salty as well. To supplement, I also got a bowl of gao lao, which is just the, the beef balls and the, some vegetables in soup without more noodles. I'm just fishing, fishing out beef balls and vegetables and adding it to my other bowl of soup, which is already seasoned. Yeah, that's like a, a spongy, a spongy meatball. <clears throat> I finished those bowls of Gotia Lukshin uh, beef meatballs, and actually, I have to say, for Lukshin, they were very, very good. Uh, I'm still not a huge Lukshin meatball eater. Uh, but definitely, if you like meatballs, this is a place you don't want to miss when you're in Lampang. I could definitely taste the quality compared to other versions of Lukshin. Uh, they were... Here comes a car. But yeah, they were definitely much better quality and 
all beef. I think the location of the restaurant in this old falling down wooden shack is pretty cool and also it is definitely a local favorite here in Lampang. 